Hi, I'm Dr. Brett Snyder, and you're watching the Plastic Surgery Channel. Welcome back to Plastic Surgery News. A plastic surgeon from the United Kingdom has reported findings that support what researchers here in the U.S. are saying about the way women age. Dr. Norman Waterhouse, one of the U.K.'s leading surgeons in aesthetic facial plastic surgery, said women will see signs of aging around their eyes more quickly than men do, since men and women age differently. He noted that women see their faces change shape as they grow older from an oval to a square with sagging skin. Men, on the other hand, tend to retain the shape of their face no matter what age they are. Meanwhile, here in the U.S., researchers at Loma Linda University Medical Center in California recently presented a study showing that after age 30, women begin to show facial aging in the same pattern as their mothers. This information can help plastic surgeons gather family information from women who want to correct the signs of aging in their face to improve the outcomes of cosmetic procedures. Meanwhile, there's new evidence that Botox may do more than take away wrinkles. New information shows that it may also relieve chronic pain. Botox has actually been connected to pain relief for several years, though it is not approved by the FDA as a pain medication. But a study presented at this year's American Society of Plastic Surgeons Conference in Seattle, Washington, suggested that Botox can alleviate some chronic pains on a long-term basis. Doctors frequently treat chronic pain with medication, heat therapy, exercise, or massage. But in a recent experiment, eight patients with chronic pain received a monthly Botox injection for an average of nine months. After this, all eight patients reported significant pain relief that lasted up to 17 months. Botox has long been approved for the treatment of muscle spasms in the neck and shoulders. This application works by relaxing the muscles in these areas in much the same way as Botox Cosmetic relaxes the muscles in the face and minimizes wrinkles. The latest research indicates that the drug may be effective in stopping chronic pain in various parts of the body by relaxing the muscles there as well. We'll keep you posted on further developments. Well, that's all the time we have for you today. Thank you for joining us. Remember, join us again next week for more plastic surgery news. I'll see you then.